Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be handling more information about the saving of data on your app. What we're going to be using on this particular app that we've just written uh, back in 14 is on saved instance state, for instance. And I'll talk more about the different saving methods uh, after I get done talking about the code that we've written. First, let's go into our Java file and look down here for the onsaved instance state. Now, I'm trying to explain what this does. As your system begins to stop your activity, it calls this onsaved instance state. And what it does is it uses the onsaved instance state so you can specify a, a additional specific uh, data that you would like to be saved in case the activity has to be created. Now, if the activity is destroyed and the same instance that you you were just in has to be recreated, uh, the system passes this, the data that was defined in our onsaved instance to both the onCreate method and the onRestoreInstance state method. And that's how uh, your data is recreated after it's stored. How onSaved instance state does this is the system uh, uses this method uh, when the user is leaving your activity and passes it's what's called the bundle and I'll leave a link uh, down below so that you can look up more about what a bundle is and how it works. Now the bundle object will be saved in the, in the event that your your page or your activity is destroyed. Uh, so when it's recreated, what it actually does is it passes that bundle back to the onRestore instance state and the onCreate method, and it's from that bundle in which your state is recreated. Now the onCreate method is called whenever your system is creating a new instance of an activity or recreating a previous one. So when this happens, there's a check whether the state bundle is null before you read it. If it's null, uh, then the system will, will create a new instance of the activity instead of restoring a previous one that was you know, destroyed. With the use of the onRestore instance state, there is a saved state to be restored. So that will not be null. So it will restore the former instance of that activity. Now there are actually four primary means by which people save data. Saving data in simple key value pairs, which is what we're actually using in this app, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then there's three other major ones, uh, saving data to files on internal storage. Uh, you can also save data to files on external storage. And data to databases uh, by using SQL Lite. In our app, we're using the shared preferences to save data. Uh, it's uh, saving data in simple key value pairs. Uh, in order to save small amounts of information, usually less than 10K, uh, we use this shared preferences uh, to record what's called key value pairs. In uh, save data, all you need is a key and its value supplied to the class to save as a name value pair in an XML files on the device. Now the term name value pair, uh, those go together and I will try to find some information and put a link uh, further about what a name value pair is uh, in the description. I will also put some more information about shared preferences and how it works uh, from the source itself, Android developer. Uh, usually when you're using shared preferences, uh, you use it uh, Loading and saving uh, these shared uh, these key value pairs are done on on resume and on pause, and when this app is un uninstalled, all the saved inform information that you have associated with this app will be removed as well because it's in that XML file. A simple description of the key value pair is a set of two linked data items. One key part is a key, which is a unique identifier for some item of data. And the value is either the data or a pointer to the location of the data. Um, 
that the key has to be unique. The data does not have to be. It can be repetitive as it wants to be. Now, in order to write to a shared preference file, you have to create a shared preference.editor. Uh, and you can do this by calling the edit on your shared preferences. And if you look down here on line 118, you can see that your program is doing this. Uh, then to pass the key and the values you want to write with methods, uh, you use such things as put in and put string. And here string is being used. Uh, then the call commit is used uh, to save it. Earlier we were talking about the on create checking for a null. And if you'll scroll up just a little bit from here up to about line 54, you can see the app is checking for null uh, in this instance of the staved instance state. Uh, so there it is. This has been Aceless Dawn teaching another tutorial on Android Studio. Glad you could join me. Uh, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.